Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl Debbie from Donga Yard? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, there's always a special wake welcome waiting for you. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey, manners and respect. Hi, hello, how do you do, please? At the great camera girl, at the birthday girl, in a sweet 16 birthday girl, she the behind the camera, you know. So, no, no, so now for big girl up in the comment section, you know. At the birthday girl, I be a things, it thing, it thing late. Now, today, what I want to share, um, a lot of people have been asking, say, Debbie, could you do some vegan? vegetarian slash vegan dishes camera girl now is educating me that mom vegetarians are different from vegans okay so this is a part of the Jamaican cooking journey that I I think I might have to go learn okay because we want to try you know to get in some of the vegetarian dishes i am not sure about the vegan because the vegan it tends to be a bit pricey now i am going to share with you happy because i realize that not realize i know that vegetarians they eat aki i think the vegans eat it too carla tell me carla you tell me darling so i have here some aki that has been cooked i know i have one per video oh my clean oh my cook the aki i've got lots of them so somebody might want to say, hey, Miss Debbie, are you not showing? It is there. And I might leave the link to a few of them for you in the description. So I'm thinking that haki, it is Jamaica's national dish with saltfish. Haki is something that when you eat it with something that is pickled like salt. Some people use salt mackerel. Honestly, I'm not like you with the salt mackerel, to be honest. But it can be added. You know, I don't like it with the salt mackerel. A lot of people eat it. It has to be like super peppery for me. You know, and even though peppery, it's still not mesh with, not mesh with it. But like red herrings and stuff, it's best to be, not best, it tastes better with something that is pickled. But we have moved away from that. We use it with tin mackerel, we use it with chicken back, and some people use it on its own. Now to eat aki, on its own with just frying up you have to really love aki you've got to love aki because haki is something that is it's a, let me tell you i don't know all the aki lovers and all the aki eaters it is something that makes you gassy it makes you gassy because of the nature of it it and you, when you cook the aki and you throw that water out try to taste a little of it it is something that that is why you have to let, wait until it comes to perfection and that gas it opens on it, its own and that gas is released out of it and then you're safe with it okay so it has a little gas it is on its own when you cook it trying to eat it on its own yeah when oh when like can i say i don't like eating aki on its own i am not an aki lover like that but my husband is him will niam it him and jerry they will niam it with absolutely anything nothing something so i am sharing with you today some aki mixed with some baked beans if you have ever done it you can let me know if you have never done it and you want to try it let me know how it goes with the baked bean oh no no so i'm gonna use tomato in my aki but to facilitate this video that in case a person that is a vegetarian or a vegan, I don't want to say vegan, I don't know if the vegans eat this, the, the, the tin stuff, I don't know. So you need to tell me. So I'm using some um, tomatoes, I'm using a little green and a little slightly red. I'm using some um, sliced garlic. I'm using the red, the, the white and the green part of the skeleton. I haven't got any onion at this time. But you could still put in a little onion. So let me notch up my flame right here. And you know the first thing me I got put in is the um the skeletons. Come on, want the oil to get flavor. Cause let me tell you something. You must some people do this eat with just the seasonings. 
and then they, they, they have a nice flavor. That is for the people who love it. Remember, I'm telling you, because let me tell you, and you have to cook it too, let it get your flame up. You know, so you want to put the garlic, okay, put the pepper. I'm using just a small amount of this um, um, brown pepper. It's really hot. So put those first and let them get the oil. I don't think I'll use all of this um, schedule. So what I am doing personally, so I have my little pepper in, and let me tell you something. Hockey tastes nice with a little spice. You see? I, everybody do them things different, but I know the taste of hockey, and I know it needs a special, you know? Because taste make it, it tastes good. If you're a person that doesn't know how it tastes with salt fish, then you will just do it. Like how you want to do it and just tell yourself this is how it goes when indefinitely on a side for go, you know, or not, you know, it, it could taste better with X amount of, or different types of things. I see some people put in thyme. I don't have any thyme in this. So right at this point now, I'm going to put in my sweet pepper and my tomato. Now that I've put in the tomato especially, you see, I'm going to put my flame up to the very ice. Because the tomato have a spring, some little extra juice in there. And the ackee and water is something, they don't go well for me. You know, I'm doing this because I know that my husband will eat it. You know what I'm saying? I can eat ackee with anything. He love ackee like that. He not pure salt fish in it and not at all. He never want a tomato. He just tries to feed us here once he tastes the salt. And you must put the ackee let it have a little, you know? to taste in here. So, look at me here now. I'm swirling around, trying not to get them, let them get burned. So, swirling around, swirling around, trying not to let them get burned. I'm gonna go now, remove this the label, wash my baked bean, and when I return, I'll just show you what I'll be just doing next. Not much to leave, just for the vegetarian, if they so will. And if you're not a vegetarian and you love ackee like that, I know you're in for this stuff. My soon come. So look at me here. These are my little herbs and seasonings on my cooker. And this is the amount of ackee. This is like maybe more than one tin of ackee. So what I see the people them take out of the tin, this will almost look like two tins of ackee for me. You know? So, I could get the flame down a bit. So, you know, once it get, um, I'll mash up, mash up, and I'll mush up, mush up now, you know. So this is how it looks on its own there now, without anything, with just your little vegetable. You know, you're like a cook up cook up. So, I guess the vegetarians, they are liking this. It looks good, yes, it looks good. But I guess to me, just to the old time um, way, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna be going now, and I'm gonna be putting in some black pepper. This aki, you need to put, if you use black pepper, you use to put, you need to put a generous amount. The black pepper, and okay now with a reasonable amount of black pepper on the top you want to get your flame right back up mm, to the eyes so inside here now we're not going to put in all of this um baked bean i would say we put in some because remember you want to put in the baked bean with some of the sauce because it has a little sweetness so you know that i got the extra down in the aki huh? right so you want to just Mix it together, don't let it get all moved. And I'm gonna turn it down. But I'm, it's not looking bad though. And this looks like you could use um, chickpeas with it, like for the vegetarians and the vegans. What do you think about this camera girl, birthday girl? What do you think about this? It looks nice. Yes, we are gonna taste some now. You know, we are gonna taste. But when I taste, I'm gonna cover the pot and leave it. To let the heat just take everything and go through it. That is how the aki is, you know. After you fry up and fix up, you must turn the aki down on a low heat for about three minutes and let the aki of itself, the fruit, absorb all that fry up, fry up, cook up flavor where you have in it. Eh? Let me taste it. It's not bad. Dad cooked the aki for me and he cooked it with the salt to taste. So, Cook the aki when you're not using any salt fish, anything pickled. Cook the aki that it's a salt. It will absorb the salt. And when you do your thing, you will have your thing. To be honest, me not tell a lie. Me not tell a lie. Me feast. If you try this as a vegetarian, and if you're a vegan and you eat like this, 
I think you're going to love it. It is good. It's not bad at all, actually. So we're going to cover now and leave it for about three minutes and make everything gel. When you come back and lift it up, some heat supposed to come out. I must soon come. So I'm back now. It's a little steam coming out of it. So look at me here. This is what I have. This is what I have right there. Not looking bad at all. And actually, it's not tasting bad. Because the hockey I cook with a little salt, extra salt for taste. Not, not, not looking bad, not tasting bad at all. We're going to go plate and return. Okay, now family, we are back. Not bad at all. So let me tell you something. If you come to the Jamaica, if you not the Jamaica, if you come around the five star backyard and you're a vegetarian, and you have to tell me if vegans eat it like this, I don't know. That means uh, you're good to go. And it seems as if I'm learning from my kitchen to yours. So my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, to your stomach, and most of all to your vegetarian or your vegan table, it is Aki in the vegetarian or vegan way. Please do enjoy. If you have liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the Jamaican cooking journey. When you do subscribe, remember to hit the bell. That is the way you'll be notified, okay? And make sure that everything is okay with you. In the comment section, we've got our email. We have got our Instagram. There is no WhatsApp number for now, just for now. We are working on another WhatsApp number, okay? And also, our PayPal donation is there, the link to it. Those of you who'd like to make a donation to the channel, if you don't want to, no problem, but we're leaving it there in case somebody, you know, want to make that donation. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Tell me what do you think about this? This is the first time I've done Aki the vegetarian way because I know that people that are vegetarian they eat it with fish some people don't eat it with no fish so this is my very first time doing aki with tomatoes doing aki without anything pickled what do you think have you ever done it what do you think about the twist do you want to try it remember I used baked beans and there are other different type of baked beans even more mellow than this because I didn't know I think this was like you know of a better quality but if you get a better better quality baked beans i think it would even taste better not looking bad not tasting bad debbie from dunga yard bless birthday girl sweet 16 camera girl behind the camera make sure i'm not gonna be up in the comment section you know 